Good evening, guys. Got a game here for you, and it is featuring Narset, Enlightened Master. This ridiculous commander that was just printed that seems to be running amok all over Commander right now. And uh, the card is definitely degenerate in the sense that if you're able to attack once with it, you almost always win. In fact, I've yet to have a game where I didn't cement an indomitable position with just a single attack. And granted, there's certainly some variance. There's the possibility to flip four lands, for example, or flip two counter spells and two lands or something. But by and large, just a single attack with this guy is decisive. And often you'll just get ridiculous, completely ridiculous things like basically the equivalent of drawing four cards and adding 20 mana to your mana pool just for attacking, which is pretty disgusting. Um... I really can't say yet if it's better than a commander like Zur, which is cheaper and has evasion and also pretty much wins the game if you attack with it because you can put Necropotence into play. I haven't used Zur in a long time, but um, I may revisit that deck in a little bit, especially if Narset continues to run amok because Zur is just faster. And uh, a six-mana commander is pretty difficult to get into play against uh, against control because of counters and certainly against dedicated land destruction as well. Um, and you will see such a thing unfold in this game, where I'm going second, but I have a very solid draw. Um, Tithe and Mox Diamond are a match made in heaven, of course, and uh, Copy Artifact also for the extra land, just to get extra acceleration. i got a workshop here, but nothing to use it on, so I'll be likely ditching that. And he's playing Godo Bandit Warlord which can actually be a pretty nasty commander because their ability to tutor for any type of art uh, equipment, like Sword of Fire and Ice, for example, and you can't counter it. It can be bad. But we'll see how it un unfolds. He's got Valakut. Remand. Temporal Mastery. Oh, that's right. He's played Dwarven Blast Miner on turn one. Or turn two Dwarven Blast Miner. So I'm just going to have to uh, throw away the rest of my non-basics, and I'm quite happy that I uh, threw away the workshop as well. So I've got two diamonds and a basic island, which is about all I can hope for. He's immediately destroying my Hallowed Fountain. Take possession. Well, I've got four mana, but I'm a long way away from playing two of the good spells in this hand. I draw a Hinder. It's not very useful. It's kind of interesting. I've got the Wooded Foothills here, and I assume that he'll do the correct play of destroying it at the end of my turn and then untapping and destroying whatever I fetch, or at least forcing me to get a mountain, because obviously I don't have any forests. But that would assume that I have a basic mountain in here, which I do not have. But he lets me just go turn after turn with the ability to use this thing when I need it to get a red-blue source. And so now he's going to cast Burnished Heart. And I'm just going to remand that immediately just to draw a card, because I need land. I get Treachery, which is nice, because it'll give me an out against the Blast Miner. Although it does really let my guard down, and I can't hinder. Soul Ring is just an incredibly lucky pull. Really can't ask for better, honestly. I mean, I guess it could have been Mana Crypt, I suppose, which would have allowed me to uh, play my commander. But either way, that's pretty incredibly lucky. So end of turn, he finally realizes that he should destroy Wooded Foothills at the end of my turn. So I just go get a Plateau, because it's... I have a Steam Vents and a Volcanic Island, but Plateau is by far the least useful of my lands to have destroyed, so. Now he's up to his Valakut range. But Blast Miner is just a beast of a thing to face right here. Now he's going to cast Manic Vandal, and I'm definitely hindering that because I need to protect the Sol Ring to have any chance in this game at all. But this is a perfect example of why I feel that Zur is just strictly better than uh, Narset. Granted, Zur does, I guess he does die to removal. He's not nearly as durable as Narset once it's in play, but I would have been able to cast Zur this game and probably win the game by attacking, assuming that the mono-red deck doesn't have a way of dealing four damage. But I would have been able to get it out pretty quickly, like on turn three with those diamonds. And I wouldn't even care about his Dwarven Blast Miner when I have Necropotence in play. Ah, there's an Arid Mesa which is really good. So I'm just going to sack that right now. And fortunately, I do have one basic planes in the deck as well. 
so I can go fetch that. And temporal mastery. Draw a metamorph. So I'm kind of faced with a choice here. I can treachery the blast miner and just t turn off its ability permanently, which will allow me to kill the Valakut thing. But at the same time, doing that leaves me with just the planes in an island untapped, and I don't really have a lot of follow-ups to that that are particularly great. Um, take possession I can't cast. So if he plays Godo and uh, gets an, some sort of vicious equipment with it that I'm not anticipating, then I could actually find myself in a bad position. If he kills the Soul Ring uh, right now, then I'm back down to four mana and uh, am pretty helpless with all these expensive spells in my hand. So I decide I'm just going to cast my commander here. Figuring <clears throat> it's unlikely he has any solution to it, and if he does have a solution to it, it will almost certainly kill the Blast Miner as well. Probably, I mean, how many cards does Mono Red have that actually kill this? There's like Earthquake, Rolling Earthquake, Flame Break, and a few other things, but they're all global damage, and um, they all kill the Blast Miner. Sure enough, he's got one. One of the few outs that exist in mono red against this commander. All is dust. But fortunately, that leaves Mox Diamonds and Soul Rings in play. So he two for ones himself to kill my commander, which of course he has to do because you can't let it attack. But now the field is wide open. And I draw a strip mine, which is very timely. So I could just slam Karn down and uh, remove a card from his hand. But I decide that it's probably better to just uh, time walk again, see what I draw. I get Ancestral Vision. I'm just going to copy my soul ring as insurance against the future and strip mine him to keep him down to six mana and suspend that. He gets Crucible off the top and gets his Valakut back. And he plays that Burnished Heart that I remanded some time ago. So he's really, he's tapped out right here and I'm thinking like, man, Tezzeret would be pretty nice. Enlightened Tutor is Winter Orb, but one turn too slow. <clears throat> However, he did the, uh, did me the courtesy of playing a Crucible of the World, so we're going to steal that. And I strip mine his Valakut. Cycles Forgotten Cave and concedes. So I guess he didn't even have the mana for the, uh, the Godo. But he knows he's going to get strip mined every turn. And if he were to cast Godo, of course, he would get, uh, he would get a treachery, and I'd probably just uh, notice i got a Plains untapped here. So I would uh, Enlighten Tutor for Winter Orb at the end of this turn, and I would go Treachery, Winter Orb. And I actually have, uh, with the Crucible, I have enough mana to even go Karn, kill Godo, and uh, enlighten, and cast the Winter Orb that I Enlighten Tutor for. So whatever the case is, this guy's toast, and I was able to work my way around Blast Miner thanks to uh, the double Mox Diamond draw. Uh, anyway, I've got a few more games to record of this deck. And again, the jury is still out. It's still a work in progress. It's definitely degenerate. And uh, wins games effortlessly, often just when you get a fast Narset. I've got him as early as turn two. And of course, those games are just a complete blowout. But there's lots of commanders that work like that, too. More to come soon, and I will have a uh, official verdict on Narset about whether or not it's tier one or tier two, in my opinion. See you soon.